this is Deborah Baker with Trusted CISO. In this module, we will cover how to secure your computer in five steps. And this is based on my book, CISO Guide to Cyber Resilience, Endpoint Security, Chapter 5. This is an overview. I go into a lot more detail in the book. So if you haven't picked up a copy, I recommend go out to Amazon and get one now. Endpoints are critical as they often serve as the first line of defense against cyber threats. Endpoint security involves protecting end-user devices such as laptops, desktops, and mobile devices, also servers, from cyber threats. These devices are frequently targeted by attackers, making it crucial to implement strong security measures to safeguard them. Why is securing endpoints so important? Endpoints are common entry points for cyber attacks, particularly with the rise of remote work, which has expanded the attack surface. Moreover, endpoints often store or access sensitive data, making their security vital to protecting organizational information. First, let's talk about antivirus and anti-malware. These tools are fundamental for detecting and removing malicious software. They scan your system, identify threats, and help eliminate harmful viruses and malware, ensuring your computer stays safe and secure. Now, if you have a Windows machine, it comes with Windows Defender. So that's all you need for Windows. If you're on a Mac, then you need to get um, some sort of antivirus, you can use malware bytes, um, Bitdefender, and there's, you know, others out there. Next, we have Endpoint Detection and Response, or EDR. This is the next level antivirus and anti-malware. These advanced tools provide real-time monitoring and response capabilities, allowing you to quickly detect, analyze, and respond to security incidents. And so these are actually made like if ransomware was actually deployed on your system, the EDR would actually recognize it and stop it from running. So this is why it's so critical to have an advanced EDR on your laptop. It's essential for maintaining the security of all endpoints within your network. An application firewall serves as a barrier between trusted and untrusted networks. It controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules, protecting your applications from various threats. Now, what you need to do is you have an application firewall built into your operating system. So whether you have Windows or Mac, you have an application firewall you need to go into your settings and turn it on. Disk encryption is another critical tool. It ensures that your drive is and all your data is encrypted, making your data unreadable to unauthorized users. Even if your device is lost or stolen, encryption helps keep your sensitive information secure. Finally, we have virtual private networks or VPNs. A VPN secures connections for remote workers, encrypting internet traffic and masking their online activities. This is vital for maintaining privacy and security when accessing the internet from different locations. For example, a coffee shop, hotel, or airport where the Wi-Fi is insecure. These tools, antivirus, anti-malware, EDR, application firewall, disk encryption, and VPN are essential for a robust cybersecurity strategy. Implementing these can significantly enhance your protection against various cyber threats. Antivirus and anti-malware software are fundamental components of endpoint security. They scan for and remove malicious software, providing the first line of defense against common threats. Examples of popular antivirus solutions include Norton, McAfee, and Bitdefender, and also Windows Defender that comes on the OS. 
Endpoint detection and response, or EDR, enhances traditional antivirus solutions by adding real-time monitoring and response capabilities. EDR solutions like CrowdStrike, Sentinel-1, Microsoft Defender, and Bitdefender provide comprehensive protection by detecting and responding to threats quickly. And they also have a component, the response, is where the particular company, and this would be for an organization, that CrowdStrike, Sentinel-1, Microsoft, they actually have like a remote support incident response team so that if you are a small company, let's say, and you only have maybe like one security person, this way, if, if somebody, you know, one of the endpoints, let's say, had ransomware, the response and this um, remote, and it you have to pay extra for it, but essentially you would have that support and they would be able to help that person recover their device. A virtual private network or VPN encrypt, encrypts internet traffic to protect data in transit. So all the data is encrypted point to point. So VPNs are essential for securing connections, especially for remote workers accessing corporate resources. Examples of VPN solutions include NordVPN, Cisco AnyConnect, ExpressVPN, and ProtonVPN. I like to use ProtonVPN, it's free. And it, they also, Proton, you also have ProtonMail, which is encrypted email. Now testing, especially this is for, especially for remote workers, but testing your home firewall is crucial to ensure it is properly configured to block unauthorized access. Steps to test your firewall include, you know, going into the firewall configuration, ensuring that by default, there's a deny all rule is set, and there's a free tool called Shields Up, and this is great and you can run it and it will test your firewall, your home firewall and make sure that it's configured properly. Network access control ensures that only authorized devices can connect to the network. So essentially, if you turn this on on your firewall and some you know, unknown device comes in and tries to connect to your corporate network, it will recognize that this is not a managed device by the organization and it'll just automatically put it into the guest Wi-Fi. And so this is what, when I worked at Cisco, this is what they had. And one of the things it does is it will scan the device also and see, does it have antivirus? Does it have anti-malware? You know, is it updated? Is the OS updated? <clears throat> And so it'll put in the guest Wi-Fi and it might, if it sees that, oh, it doesn't have antivirus, it's not updated, it will just like not even let it connect even to the guest Wi-Fi. Now, this is also typically bundled into zero trust. And so when you talk about zero trust, a lot of companies are using zero trust instead of a VPN. I still think using VPN is good to have, like especially when you're traveling and you're on an insecure um, network. But Zero Trust, it has the same component where it'll scan the device and see, hey, you know, does it is it actually configured properly? And um, if you have a mobile device management, which we're not going to get into in this, I get into that in my actual formal class that's paid. The mobile device management has will be able to recognize whether it's an it's a device managed by the organization and we'll just you know kick it off to the guest wi-fi if it's not both network access control and zero trust enforce strict verification and access controls significantly enhancing network security so if you're like oh i can't really afford to do a zero trust now there is a zero trust in open source called small step and so if you want to take a look at that, I recommend it. And that's a way to take advantage of this. The other thing is just to look into your firewall and turn on the network access control and configure it. So if you have an enterprise firewall, you should already have it as an option. Browsers are common targets for attacks 
through malicious websites and phishing attempts. So to, to secure your browser, use a secure browser like Waterfox or Firefox. And one thing I'd like to say is for Chrome is that Google, and this just happened recently, they have blocked any ad blocker. So I, I mean, I still use Chrome here and there, but I mainly use Waterfox. Firefox is great too. And then you have to, you know, specifically say, yes, I trust this site and turn off the, some of the special blockers and controls that they have. So one of the things you can do is you can install an ad blocker like Ghostery and it's free to install, but Google's going to turn it off. <laughs> so it's not going to work. The other thing is you regularly want to update your browser and all plugins extensions to protect against vulnerabilities. So just make sure you keep your software up to date. In conclusion, endpoint security is a critical component of an organization's cybersecurity strategy. Implementing robust security measures such as antivirus, EDR, VPNs, and firewalls help protect against a wide range of threats. Continuous monitoring and regular updates are essential to maintaining strong endpoint security. My book, A CISO Guide to Cyber Resilience, is an indispensable resource for anyone in the cybersecurity field, featuring real-life examples and actionable recommendations. It teaches you how to defend against attacks, protect your network from ransomware, and set up effective security training programs. Order your copy today on Amazon and start building a resilient security program. Thanks for watching. If you found this information valuable, please subscribe for more updates and insights. Together we can build a more secure and resilient digital world.